No way, Melon! Check it out! This is Draw or Die from Roblox! You're right, but it's in Minecraft. Which is gonna make this challenge kinda more fun. We got Mr. Paintbrush in the middle, and all of our friends from the village! Yo, you're going down, sunshine. And Dondale, you're also going down! Melon, I'm just worried about Quandale Dingle. He's probably gonna be an artistic genius. Nah, bro, you can only be good at science or art. Yeah, true, you can't have both a strong left and a strong right brain. Not possible. Now, Sonny, are you ready to draw? Yes, I am, Buckaroo. I just grabbed my palette, and let's find out the first round subject. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the first round is going to be pandas. Oh, Melon, I'm gonna be a pro with this. Bruh, you're going down. Actually, I don't really care if you're going down. I just don't want to go down. Yeah, same exactly. As long as I can beat one of these idiots, I'll be chilling. Anyway, it's time for me to get painting. Yes, to draw a panda bear. First things first. Think I'm gonna draw the outline of its inner stomach because they're cute black and white animals. Now then, if I'm gonna draw an adorable panda, I'm gonna have to start with the outline, which is gonna be some ears. Yep, and then a little bit of roundness. Oh, I messed that up a little bit. Actually, no, that's perfect. Another ear, like this. Here we go. Drawing a panda. I feel like I can even turn this into a penguin right here. Loki kind of looks like one, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm drawing a panda. And then I need a big, round, cute face like that. And I don't have a lot of room for the body, so I'm just going to make it go off the screen and make him thick. Yeah, there we go. And then he's going to have adorable big eyes like this. I'll put the little dots in later. He's going to be very kawaii. Here we go. Panda face. They got a big old face on them. I think pandas have those droopy ears, right? So I'll draw those ears. And then a nice, cute little nose. Kind of tough to do this, I won't lie. There's his nose and his little face. Oh, that's good. Oh, I want him to have little rosy cheeks too. Yeah, there we go. That's my cute little panda. And let's see. I'll give him little floppy ears too. Oh man, it's actually pretty tough to draw a panda. I've got to draw the spotted eyes. That'll be my key to victory. This is not my best drawing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Let me retry this. Need to draw two of those eyes. Yeah, and then we'll put the rest like this. Color it in, color it in. And I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, I need the eyes to be like this. Panda, panda, panda. Oh, he looks a bit cooked, actually. Hold up. There we go. Now he's cute. And then what else, what else, what else? Oh, I got to color in most of his belly. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've actually cooked this panda. What have I done? Okay, whatever. I'll give him some cute little arms. And then I'm going to give him little panda hands like this. He's kind of waving at people. And that's pretty good. That's, uh, yep, that's my panda. I don't think it's going to get much better than that, unfortunately. I guess I could do this at the bottom. Give him another black stripe just before his belly. Perfect. Voila. My panda is complete. I just hope somebody made a worse panda. And I just need to make sure that they know that this is a panda. So I'm going to draw some bamboo. Bamboo. Now it's pretty obvious that that's, that's not even obviously bamboo. Man, I am terrible at this. But it's okay. That's the bamboo. And okay, this was probably my worst drawing ever. But hopefully someone drew something worse than me. Sonny, I'm not going to cap. I kind of cooked my panda. Hold up. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. This. Bro, you better pray that someone made an uglier one. Bro, what did you draw? I didn't try to add as many details, so mine actually looks like a panda, bro. Yours looks like a cursed elephant. Whatever, at least it's pretty obvious it's a panda. I drew in some bamboo. And the loser of this round is Quandale Dingleberry. <laughs> Wait, what? How did Quandale lose? Bro, I told you, you're either good at science or good at art. Bro, I gotta see what Quandale made. How'd he get eliminated? I thought he would be good at art. Bro, his drawing's amazing. But he drew a penguin. Quandale, you're an idiot. Wait, what? I could have sworn he said penguins. No, bro. He said pandas. Different animal. Dang it. I knew I should have my ears cleared before this competition. I didn't even hear him properly. Oh, what happened to Quandale? Quandale died! Yep, looks like he was the 
first to go. Well, Melon, let's get ready for the next round. The next category is glasses. Bro, I'm gonna be an expert at this. All I gotta do is look at my sunglasses. Yeah, bro, if you're gonna draw your own sunglasses, I'm gonna draw something else. Okay, goats, I need a fresh canvas. Here we go. Time to make the most beautiful glasses ever. I knew Sonny was gonna draw his own glasses. So, I'm gonna draw some glasses on myself. Go like this. I gotta, I gotta straighten out these lines a little bit, though. I don't want to be too cooked. Ah, oh, come on. Hold and up. Just gotta clear that panda elephant abomination. And it's time to draw the melon. Boom. Cut across. Clean. Schnazzy. Perfect. Let's go. Close them up. Paint them. Okay. Drawing my face pretty good right here. These are already looking awesome. I wouldn't call them perfect yet. There's a little more I need to do. Let me count these pixels. Okay, so purple, pink, purple, red, orange, green. Got it. Got it. Got it. So I want purple, pink, purple. Now what was it? Oh yeah, red, orange, green. Add some tape. Texture. Here we go. Yes. If Sonny can draw his own face, then I can too. Red, orange, green. And then I also need a little bit of light blue. You'll see why. Okay. Light blue right there. Excellent. And then I just seal those in. Oh yeah, that is snazzy. Up next, we need purple. Purple's gonna be a deep line. Comes down there. And then we need pink magenta, which will be here like this. So, and then we need purple here like this. Oh yeah, except I messed it up a bit. I'm gonna move these all over just a touch. And it's time to draw my six shades. I wanna look like one of the three blind mice. I'm gonna get those ones. You know what I'm talking about, the circle ones? Oh yeah. I am looking swagalicious now. And then we'll trim. Excellent. The first lens is completed. Then we need red. So we go over two, and then we're gonna go like boom. Bada bingski. Orange is gonna be like boom. Bada bingski. And then green is gonna be a tall one like this. Oh, my glasses look crazy. And then wait, can I do a big paint bucket? I'm gonna make my face here too. Let me thicken up these glasses a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm looking sick. And I am just about done my drawing. I guess I could fill it in for fun. Yours truly. I gotta make sure they know. I gotta make sure they know. Add that little dot, two little yellows, one little yellow, and then I'll put a big smile because I'm awesome. Yeah, you. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna be a little cheeky. Spit my tongue out at the competition. Melon, you better hurry. There's only 10 seconds left. And just like that, my drawing's almost complete. And it's done. I'm done, Sonny. Don't ever interrupt me like that again or I'll kill you. Well, I was just worried about you, bro. The paintbrush said 10 seconds left, so I kind of freaked out. Now, let me just tell you, Sonny, I aced this drawing. There's no way your glasses look better than mine. Zero percent -y. Well, bro, I look like one of the three blind mice. I think that's pretty cool. Whoa. Honestly, bro, not what I was expecting to see, but those are some schnazzy glasses. Let me see your poop drawing. Oh, not bad, Sonny, but you didn't even draw your head properly. What's wrong with my head? You just drew a background and some glasses. No, I just used the full canvas because a real artist uses everything. And the loser of this round is Melanie. Bro, your girlfriend is out. Oh no, Melanie. Oh no, you're gonna die now. Honestly, this isn't even that bad. You honestly just butchered this guy's head and haircut more than anything. Yeah, this makes me a bit nervous, Melon. If this is getting eliminated, the other artists must be pretty talented. Yeah, I'm a little scared myself, Sonny. She's gone, Melon. Farewell. You fought nobly and died like this eggplant-looking guy. My girlfriend's gone. <sighs> Well, at least it's Minecraft and she'll respawn. That's true. You'll see her back at the village. Anyways, on to the next round. And the third round's theme is popcorn. Good luck. The countdown starts now. Wait, I'm not even ready. I don't have my canvas. Canvas, canvas, canvas. Good luck, Melon. Oh, I'm drawing some good old popcorn. I'm drawing it movie theater style. All right. For mine, I'm gonna go with a movie theater style. So I need a nice fancy bag for my popcorn. And it's gonna be red and blue, like a bucket almost. Yeah, let's put the lid, drag it down. Oh, no. 
messed it up a bit. Draw the lid. Drag it down. Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. Just, just, just chill. I need to just breathe. There's my bucket. You know what? It's fine. Then we'll put yellow lines in. It just kind of looks like ketchup and mustard now, though. So let's get this. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I've got a good start already. This is the movie theater bag, and there'll be like popcorn all the way over here. Oh my goodness, this drawing's actually goaded with the sauce. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure no one will notice. Wait, no, I don't want yellow lines. That looks like popcorn. They need to be blue. Yes, blue lines. Marvelous. Now we're cooking. We'll maximize the time threshold. Boom, that's my popcorn. I'll add a little bit more detailing in there. And then all I've got to do is make this thing say cinema. Oh man, I keep making mistakes that are working out for me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm adding some details in there unintentionally. And then it will be like cinema. I need to be very delicate with my art here. It's coming together nicely now. Just a few more brush strokes. Speed run. Oh, that was almost bad. Uh, I'm running out of space here, though. Uh, maybe I should just say... Oh, I can't undo anymore. Oh, no. What have I done? Oh, no. Whatever. I'm just drawing in the popcorn bag like this. I have made a few errors, but it is okay. I'll make the bag just a little bigger so it fits all the blue lines. Yes, this is perfect. This is magnificent. Truly something to behold. It's just gonna say movie. Movie. Excellent. Now I should probably add the popcorn. It's gonna be like this. Oh, I messed up. It's gonna be like this. But I kind of ran out of space low key. But it's fine. Movie popcorn. I killed this drawing. You know what? That works. That actually works. Everyone can tell this is movie theater popcorn. Or they're gonna think it's McDonald's french fries. Either way, I should be fine. I'm just trying to think like, I gotta leave a little bit of white space like this. I think I made them too buttery. I made them too buttery. More popcorn space. It's fine. Oh, these look more like french fries. I don't know what's going on. It's fine. This will have to work. This is popcorn by Big Man Melon. Why is it doing that? Why is it just a picture of a melon? Okay, no, this is my drawing. This is my drawing, goats. You see it right here. It'll have to just do. That's my popcorn. Yep, that's my big bag of popcorn. Maybe there's a little bit of seasoning. Yeah, a little bit of... No, that looks bad. That looks bad. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, Sonny? Yeah? I just finished. Bro, I killed this drawing. I made it so good, but something glitched. What do you mean? Let me see. Look at my canvas. Popcorn by Big Man Melon. Bro, what did you do? Click on it, bro. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Yo, nice. See, isn't that really good popcorn, though? Yeah, it actually looks decent. I like what you did with the textures and the colors. I'm sure you'll be fine, bro. They'll understand. This is the actual design. Alright, let me see your design. Ooh, your popcorn's pretty trash, Sonny. What are you talking about? That's clearly movie theater quality. Nah, I think you might get kicked out for this one. I doubt it. And the loser is... Stevie! Oh, thank goodness I was actually nervous. Stevie, it looks like you might have a lot of money, but you got no class. Yo, your popcorn is trash! Yeah, is that a popcorn or a cupcake? What is it? He was a good man, but now he's dead. Rest in pepperoni, Stevie. Okay, Melon, I'm ready for the next round. Same here. And the theme of the next round is mail or envelopes. Good luck. Oh, bro, I got this. I'm gonna cook. This is slightly random subject, but I guess I'll create myself a beautiful envelope. Most envelopes are white, so let's set the background to be black. So for my design, everybody, I'm gonna start with a mailbox, because that is the delivery mechanism for all envelopes and mail. So here we go. It's like boom, bada, bing, ski. Bring it around town. That is a nice looking mailbox right there. Then I'm gonna add a little flag. Ooh. And then I'm gonna write the word mail, because uh, obviously mailboxes are are labeled. It's just a little bit tricky to write with this thing. Here we go. Then let's go here. It's time to create an envelope, the likes of which had never have been seen because it's too goated with the sauce. I'm gonna make the most goated envelope ever. That is a very random statement to be made, but I'm gonna do it. Honestly, that works. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Mail. And then I will put an envelope. Gotta bring this down. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, this envelope shall be created. Wait, actually, I need to make the background all blue. Oh no, I messed up. This is gonna be a little tricky. A touch tricky. That way I can have mail sticking out of it, you feel me? Oh, I'm cleaning up nice. I'm cleaning up real nice. So we'll go about there. Then we're gonna need to install a road. So there's a, actually a delivery mechanism for our drivers. Postman, there he goes. He can come on this track right here. Might as well give some texture in there. 
And then let's get a nice stamp. Here we go. That looks pretty good. Give it a little bit of texturizing. So let's get a little gold approval on there. Oh, yes. Because all stamps. Because if you want to have a really good envelope, it's got to have a stamp. And it's probably got to have a little gold on that stamp, too. And the postman can now deliver his mail. Oh, wait. Hold on. Now he can deliver his mail. Excellent. And the mail will be sticking out of this thing like it's just tons of it. Yeah. Lots some mail coming out of there. That's a weird looking letter. Hold on. Let me, let me. Yeah, that's better. That looks like mail sticking out like newspapers and stuff. Some over here too. Perfect. There's no way I can lose. Well, I think this is a pretty good envelope. I might just add some textures for fun. Because why not make it a little bit more realistic? All right. I think my envelope is complete. Sonny, my envelope's done and it's beautiful. Yes, my mail envelope theme is also finished. Ooh, would you like to see mine first? Oh, with great pleasure, my good sir. Whoa. Dude, when did you get this good at art? I just decided why not. Well, I'm proud of you. That is one of the most detailed and nice drawings I've ever seen you make. Yep, my envelope is goaded, Sonny. Yeah, but I drew a mailbox with envelopes sticking out of it. Oh, well, I like the idea, but you're lacking a little bit of detail. I know I don't have the same amount of texture that you did, but I'm sure this will be enough to beat the competition. Now announce the elimination. For this round, Sunshine will be eliminated. Oh no, that's my girlfriend. Uh, she's kind of crazy anyways. Sunshine, what kind of artwork did you create? Let me just take a little peep. Yo, honestly, this is better than Sunny's. I don't know how you lost. No, this thing is lacking class. You know, it's pretty bland. Whatever, Sonny. You should count your blessings. Your girlfriend took this one for you. Yeah, honey, you better thank me for this. Yeah, 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 whatever. Get out of here. Phew, at least she's gone now. I don't gotta worry about her. But you do gotta worry about this next round, Sonny. The competition's heating up. Only the best artists are remaining. And for the next round, you'll be drawing whales. Sonny, should I just draw you? That's what I was about to say. I was gonna say, bro, I'm just gonna draw you. How dare you? Yep, I got there first. Fatty. No fatty. Whatever. Whales are actually beautiful, majestic creatures. They just happen to be very heavy. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna draw Sonny for this round. So first things first, I've got to draw the deep blue sea. Here we go. Okie dokie. For my whale, I want to try something crazy. It's not going to be easy. I realize that. So I'm going to start by adding a little bit of watercolor to this. Just get a nice background in. Maybe I can add some texture. I don't know how this, this water thing works. Is it more watery that way? What? Oh, it's like, that's interesting. So I'm just adding some texture, really. Yeah, it's ocean currents and things. And then let's draw the sunny whale. This will be his fin. <laughs> this was going to be his body. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this drawing. Yeah, that's that's just splendid, really. Um, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. There's texture. Okay, we got we got water texture. It's fine. Now let's draw the whale, shall we? And then let's draw the sunny whale. This will be his fin. The sunny whale is being drawn. Check it out. I gotta add his signature shades. And my whale is going to be that of a sketch. Now I want us to feel very artistic, so I need to be careful. It's like this, and a similar thing is gonna happen. On on that side, yes. You'll understand when it's complete. This is the spout of the whale coming out of its dome ski. Now this part's gonna be tricky. Huh! Oh, that, that didn't even curve. Huh! No, 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 a little more. Okay. Oh, that was perfect. And then this is gonna come around like this. And then there's gonna be a fin, right? Like I need a fin, something like that. That's actually not bad right there. A little, a little too thin. It's a whale after all, it's gotta be thick. And then this will continue up the side. And then he's gotta have a tail. This is where it gets hard again. Cause I gotta come down and up. And then he's got a tail like this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend these are hot dogs that he's eating right here. It kind of looks like he's yelling, to be honest, more than anything. I'm actually actually an artistic genius. And now he needs some facial features and stuff. So he's gonna have a like, face kind of like this. This is his mouth. Look. Oh yeah. We're cooking. We are cooking. That's his mouth. Maybe I'm gonna have to give up on my sunny glizzy eating whale dreams. I'll have to just stick with a normal whale. Let me just add some skies for fun. Then he needs an eyeball. He's got a big eyeball. Yeah. And I'm gonna put him uh... Yeah, he's gonna be on a surfboard for some reason. Nah, maybe not. That seems really hard to draw. I'll just put a sun 
one. And the cloud, because why not? Oh man, I drew those clouds with effortless ease. Uh, no, I don't want to put a sun. He's a beached whale. That's what he is. He's a beached whale. Yep, that's my solution to add a little more color, a little more pop texture. And I'll add some more details while I have some spare time. I'm actually going to make the whale cry too. It's going to be quite a sad story. And then look, if I choose this thing, I can texturize or something like that. Isn't that what this watery thing does? I'm not seeing the texture actually. Kind of just made my beach look bad. Oh, like that though. Ooh, that's how you get a little texture in there. Okay. Nah, never mind. My drawing's perfect. I'm done. Check out the sunny whale. Got a, we got a hint of texture, a hint of something. He's on the beach. And then my whale is real sad. He's crying. Can't see those tears, but he's crying. He's been beached. All right, that's good. I'm happy. Three, two, one. <laughs> Melon! Melon, I just finished. That was clutch. Yeah, I just finished as well, Sonny. Yeah, do you want to check out my drawing first? I learned from your last round and added some texture. Bro! What the heck? This is a crazy whale. Yeah, and he's beached and he's crying. Do you see his tears? Dude, honestly, props. I think this is the best drawing so far. Yeah, I put in my best efforts on this one. Now, Sonny, you might think you're an artistic genius, but check out what I drew. Oh my gosh. If you don't get eliminated, I'll be shocked, bro. Get this off my screen. Ugh. Bro, that's you as a whale. I was going to try and make you eat glizzies too, but it didn't really work out. Bro, enough, enough. Let's just hear the winner. And by the winner, I mean the person who's dying. And Dondale is eliminated. Wait, Dondale's still even in the competition? Isn't he blind? How does he even paint? I don't know, but I really want to find out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Melon, that explains a lot. He's been making abstract art this whole time. Dondale, how have you even remained in the competition? Art is in the eye of the beholder. Therefore, the giant brush was appreciating my talent. Dondale, you don't even have eyes. You're blind. Melon, he still has eyes, bro. Relax. Dondale, no. We lost a good one this round, Melon. May Notch bless his soul. Yeah, we'll see him back at the village later. It's all good. Next round, two players will be eliminated. The theme is planets. <gasps> That's my specialty. I could draw the sun or planet Earth. Or maybe I'll draw planet Melon. <laughs> Sunny, the sun isn't even a planet. Yeah, it's a star, but it's kind of part of the theme. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it classy and just draw the earth. So let's grab this brush right here. Or wait, check this out. I've actually got a goaded idea. Planet one. And nah, that's going to be too complicated. I'm just going to draw the earth. Okay, I got to draw something fresh. Let's see. Planet, planet, planet. I'm sure most of these bozos are going to draw planet earth. So I will draw Saturn. With its beautiful rings, there's no way I could lose. Just gotta try and make a good circle. Oh, that's too big. I need to make it smaller so I can fit the rings. Yeah, that's pretty good right there, actually. And it's gonna need yellow and orange and texture upon texture. So let's just uh, mess around a little bit. We'll see where we go. Okay, not bad. This is kind of looking like the sun, but we'll get there. Yeah, more texture. Yeah, more texture. All right, make a perfect sphere here. Not gonna cap. I'm struggling to make a sphere. Circle are very difficult to draw in Minecraft. Wait, that's it? In Minecraft, a planet wouldn't be a circle. It would be a square. This is going to make things so much easier. Go back, add some more orange. Back, add some more yellow. Oh, that looks fire. Oh, maybe a little, little strip of red in there. Okay, Saturn looking kind of goaded. All right, lots of texture. That's nice. Now then, what do I want to do for the rings? I think I'll use a blue and like a purple or something. Let's make it smaller though. This is going to be tough, but but I gotta make it look good. I need it to go in front of the planet like that. Oh my goodness. I'm insane. I'm actually insane. Then we'll take purple and we'll layer in some texture. We'll make it more diluted. Let, now let's draw some land masses. Uh, I'm gonna draw the earth how I think think the geography goes. This is Europe. This is Africa. Ooh, I kind of forgot to leave room for Asia, so we're just not going to include that. And we're going to just say Australia on my planet is all the way down here. Goats. I think I just evolved. I'm actually so talented. This is incredible. Then some lighting effects, basically. Marvelous. Truly. Those rings will bring me the Dubberton. No doubt about it. Let's fill in these land masses. And then we got to add some texture. That's the key to making a beautiful drawing. It's all about the texture. All right, it's not getting better than that. That is crazy. Oh wait, I could add outer space in the background. That's true. No, this needs to be a lot darker. It's outer space. What am I doing? Texture's been added. 
There we go. Oops, let's undo that. And that looks pretty good. Then let's do the same thing here for the ocean. Just a couple more pixels to color in, and this drawing is perfection. I didn't even know I was capable of something this brilliant. Melon is gonna be in awe. And I'm liking the way my planet looks already. No kyap, no kyap. I think planet Earth is done, melon style, because I don't really know geography. All right, Sonny, my planet's done. Mine's been done, bro. I'm just adding some little details now. Well, son, your time's up, so stop adding details. Yep, and I'm ready to get the Dubberton. There is zero chance I get eliminated off this one. No, let me see. Why are you so confident? Oh my goodness, how do you keep drawing these masterpieces? That's what I thought, bro. This is Jupiter right there. You like the rings? That's not Jupiter, you idiot. That's Saturn. That's what I said. This is Saturn. Bro, you really are stupid. Hey, what if I told you this is a sun surrounded by planetary rings? Then you would lose because it's not a planet. All right, it's Saturn. Chill. It looks nice, huh? Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Check out my drawing. I just kept it classy. Yeah, you did planet Earth as a cube. Whoa, that's actually nice, though. The details, the texture, that's fantastic, Melon. Yes, I kept it simple, kept it classy. And also, a planet in Minecraft wouldn't be round. It would be cubed. Yes, but it didn't specify in Minecraft. It merely said planet. Plus, if you want to play by those rules, where's the space, huh? Why would a planet be surrounded by nothing but white? Is the absence of light the color that space paints in your mind? Or is it the light of experience that can be brought forth from the unmanifested? What are you even saying, bro? That was way too deep. Are you still the same melon that I know? I don't know anymore, Sonny. Am I a melon? Am I a person? Or are you a blended fruit smoothie? All I know is I ain't losing this round of draw or die. And the two eliminations are Steve and Bob. Farewell. And then there were two. And now we'll find out who the real artiste is. I wonder what the final round topic's gonna be. In the final round, you'll be drawing a house. Oh, Sonny, you're going down. <coughs> Down. Gross. Melon, if you draw a green top, you're gonna lose. I'm just telling you. What if it's the most beautiful green top you've ever seen? It's not about what I've seen. It's about what Mr. Paintbrush is seeing. Then we'll see. I'm gonna draw the most beautiful green top you've ever seen and prove him wrong. Okay. To draw this green top, I'm going to first need to do the outline of the house. It's gonna be a green top mega mansion. Okay, goats. I have to figure out a way to win this competition. My last two pieces of art were fantastic, but Melon's really talented as well. I have to convince the paintbrush. And if the theme is a house, is it really a house or is it the heart? Yeah. It's gonna have so many stories. It's gonna be so awesome. I think that'll do. I'm gonna take this to an emotional journey. And instead of drawing an actual structural home, I'll draw the unexpected, a heart. And then we shall say the bottom of the house is gonna be about right here. This better work or I'm eliminated for sure. Oh, that's beautiful right there, yeah. There's no way I lose. That, that is perfection. That is perfection. Oh no, that's a bit lopsided. Hold on, let's, uh, yeah, let's redo the whole thing. We'll split it off into sections. Here we go. Apply the green top. Now that's better. Color it in, add a little texture. There's no way Mr. Paintbrush can resist my brilliance. No way. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I'm trying my best here. That's door number one. I don't think we're gonna have doors over here. Instead, we'll have some windows or a big window. And now for the texture. Oh, that might've been too much texture. Hold on. Yeah, that's definitely too much texture. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep texturing. When you mess up the texture, the solution is you just add more and more and more. Done green top style. We'll have a little garage here with a car. That's what I've been noticing. That's what all great artists do. You just put layers. The more layers you got, the better the artwork. This is, this is actually looking worse, not better. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, that actually looks good now. There's a little bit of shading, a little bit of shine. Yeah, let's add a little bit more shimmer, shall we? That's too much. That, that was that was too much. Blue background, because why not? Inside the house will be red. Actually, let's make it red and green. Nah, 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 it's gotta be blue there. Then we'll have a nice balcony here with the melon himself. This is gonna be hard to draw myself in here, because I don't really have a lot of pixels to work with. Maybe then I go back over it with red and pink. Yeah, no, that's texture. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Premium texture. Yeah, I think that's good. That looks beautiful. Wait, I could improve the edge just slightly. This will be the pixel version of me. <laughs> that's me right there. <laughs> Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna have to add some details to really show that there's a balcony right there. Details, shmeetails, you know what I mean? Here we go, balcony completed. And over here, I haven't really thought about what I want. Mm, 
breathe. Yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'll have a waterfall coming off of my house, because why not? This waterfall will lead into a beautiful front yard lake. And then I'll have a driveway, too, with a parking lot, just in case, because I'll have a lot of people visiting me all the time. They'll probably need a parking lot. And then let's just add some texture. Sonny, I've just created the most beautiful green top you'll ever see. Well, Melon, I hope it's enough to win the competition! Chill! Let's see whose drawing's better. It's gotta be mine, bro. Take a peek. We said drawing a house. Yes, Melon. And the home is where the heart is. But that's not even a home. I, I don't understand. Well, I thought you were talking big brain nonsense over there, so I got a little emotional and thought this would be an optimal way to win. I think you're gonna get cooked. I would much rather have an awesome dirt green top mansion. Yo, no way you got a whole road, a pond. Bro, that is the fanciest green top I've ever seen. Too bad this guy's not gonna see it. No, what have you just done? What have you just done? Melon, relax, you picked it up. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm chilling. And the winner is, you decide. Comment down below whose drawing was better. Wait, are you kidding me? If we're leaving it up to a viewer vote, they better use all of our art to decide because this one is so brilliant. Look at these, Melon. Uh, what drawings? Hey, not cool. But what is cool is pressing the like button and making sure you're subscribed to Sunny and Melon. Also, check out our merch on sunnyandmelon.com and get your epic diamond loot box.